Okay, on this physics problem, we're going to do some vector calculations. A uh, disabled vehicle is pulled by the means of two ropes, as shown right here. Rope AB and rope AC. Now, the tension in rope AB is given with 2.2 kN, and the angle right here, the alpha, we adjust it to 25. The other one, we know that it's 30. Knowing that the resultant of the two forces applied at point A, right here at the car, is directed along the axis, right here, on this axis, and determined by trigonometry the tension in rope AC, this one, and then determine the magnitude of the resultant of the two forces applied at A which is this one right here. First we're gonna start by drawing our force triangle. We're gonna take these forces and bring them over here. The resultant is straight along this axis or like we could say horizontal so I'm gonna start with that because it's uh, pretty obvious we can't ma mess that up. Now let's do AB. AB we're gonna bring it here and I'm gonna put it in a way that matches the way it was here. It tells me 30 degrees so against this horizontal so over here too I'm gonna put 30 degrees AB between the horizontal. AC it's sloping downwards with an alpha of 25 so we're gonna bring here and make sure that right here is 25. Over here it's above it over here it's under it, but from trigonometry we remember that two parallel lines and this crossing line will give us these two angles equal, so that's what happens here. Now we know this angle, we know this angle, and because we know that the sum of the angles goes to 180, we can calculate that this angle is 125. So in part A, they are asking us to find AC. For this, we're gonna look at our triangle and we see that we know all these angles and we also know AB, which is this one. So we can rely on the law of sines. We're gonna take two of these parts. We're gonna take AB over the sine of 25, right here, then AC over the sine of 30, AC over sine of 30, and from here we're gonna solve for AC, and with a calculator we're gonna get our AC to be 2.60 kilonewtons. Now for the second part, they are asking us to find R, which is the resultant, or this big one, the hypotenuse in our triangle. We could use the law of sines again, or we can uh, use the law of cosines. I'm gonna use law of cosines right now. I'm gonna write it down right here. AB underscore plus AC underscore. AB and AC from here. Minus 2 times AB AC times the cosine of 125. This angle, the one that's opposite from it. We're gonna plug in. And with a calculator, we're going to get uh, 4.26 kilonewtons for our resultant.